And uh, with that, we want to welcome in uh, Ryan Zingle, the uh, forward from the Lincoln Stars. Uh, he is a native of Wheaton, Illinois, he's just 18 years old and already playing in his second USHL season. Uh, 11th overall in league scoring with 34 points in 26 games. Last year, he had 26 points in 36 games overall and uh, tied also for his team lead with plus uh, plus minus with a plus eight. And uh, We're uh, certainly getting Ryan at a good time because he was named the CCM Offensive Player of the Week for a uh, seven-point performance, pacing the Stars to uh, a couple of victories, including his first uh, career hat trick in the USHL. So, uh, Ryan, welcome. And uh, uh, for Paul and I, uh, a couple of old-timers, we, we talked to you, and we think maybe uh, – some of that good karma is going to uh, rub off because uh, you've had a nose for the net and have uh, played, uh, obviously, at a very high level recently. Uh, yeah, you know, thanks a lot. I'm just you know, I'm just appreciative and glad that everything's working out and the team's been playing well, so I'm, just, I'm excited for the rest of the season. Uh, Ryan, uh, Bernie was saying in the introduction that uh, there's quite a battle going on in your conference, the Western Conference. I mean... Uh, you guys in Tri-City are tied. It, it's kind of a misnomer, last place. Some people would say, hey, we're only six points out of out of second place. And uh, if you look at your division versus uh, your conference versus the other conference, uh, e- either one of you guys, any of you guys, would be in third or fourth place, uh, be in fourth place right now in the other conference. So it's a little misleading. Mm-hmm, definitely. Uh, coach has been saying that, uh, you know, the past couple of weeks we're only six, six to eight points out of, you know, second or first place. And, you know, that's, it's it's actually good that we're in this conference instead of in the other one. Just saying, oh, we're in we're in third place, we're doing fine. But right, you know, this actually motivates us to you know get up get up there and eat every point. You know, every point matters. So it's I actually I'm actually glad we're in this division and how tight it is. It actually helps our team. You know, worry about every single night, not just taking days off. Yeah, and and coming off a weekend sweep of Sioux City, I mean, uh, Sioux City's above you in the standings, but. You guys kind of exploded. A lot of a lot of guys hitting the board last weekend, uh, led by, as Bernie said, uh, you were, you kind of led the way, and you had your first hat trick. That that had to be pretty exciting. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's always fun to play in the ice box here in, uh, in Lincoln, but you know, scoring hat trick was awesome, and I'm just glad I'm glad we we won because it was pretty tight. I you know I was five four when I had my hat trick and. Hmm. They started coming back, so you know I was a little worried <laughs> that the hat trick wouldn't really mean anything if we lost. But All right. Yeah. Well, you mentioned about the uh, the ice box and uh, have an opportunity to talk about uh, that a little bit. Uh, noted as one of the most unique venues in all of hockey in the United States at the junior level, not just uh, the USHL. It uh, really transcends that. Uh, you get great uh, crowds. Uh, right now, leading the USHL attendance-wise, you get 3,600 plus fans per game. Uh, that's got to be something that really uh, pushes you to uh, to another level, night in and night out, when you have that home cooking. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, uh, when you're when you're in the starting lineup, when you're you know starting, standing on the goal line there, it's it's unbelievable, and you gotta you gotta soak it in because you know I was thinking the other day when I was out there, you know I'll be gone next year. I never, I might never have anything, anything like this. So you know, I gotta let it soak in, and it's pretty, it's pretty amazing feeling scoring a goal there. Even, you know, any little thing, getting a huge hit, it's just, it's an unbelievable atmosphere. Yeah, it is, and it's, it's like that way all the way around the league, really. Mm-hmm. Definitely. You know, uh, Ryan. Uh, also, uh, uh, you look around, and as we uh, profile. Uh, various members uh, of the league, current members of the league, uh, the rosters are, uh, are, are dotted and populated by uh, so many uh, players that have made college commitments. In your case, you've committed to Ohio State and the CCHA. And uh, what about uh, that commitment? And what went into your decision? And also, some of your uh, your teammates. Is there anybody else that uh, may be playing with you? And probably some guys that'll be competing against you as uh, you look look uh, to the future next year at the collegiate level. Uh, yeah, when I was 16, uh, you know, I had a few a few schools looking at me, a couple offers, and you know, I took a visit down to Ohio State, and it, you know, it was, it was an unbelievable campus, and the facilities are just, you know, top and top notch, and you know, I felt I felt it was close to home, and you know, I really liked everything about the school, and you know, it felt like a no brainer to me, and you know, I'm excited to go in there next year. Uh, Dominic Shine, he's uh, he's actually going there with me. Hopefully next year. He's not too sure right now, but 
pretty sure he's going in there next year with me, and so that's going to be, you know, it's 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 cool to know somebody coming in there with you, and you know, um, I think Garrett Peterson, he's going to North, uh, Notre Dame, and you know, I'll be I'll be seeing him a lot. It'll be fun playing against him and Andrew Schmidt. He recently committed to UNO, so I'll be. I, I might not, you know, I might not see him, but you know, he he's excited about that commitment too because he, he's going to be in Nebraska for a couple more years. Huh. Yeah. yeah, he'll be uh, taking up uh, obviously uh, taking up some roots there, and uh, you've got uh, you got a program uh, in Lincoln uh, that is uh, noted for uh, sending some folks to uh, to the NHL. Uh, Jared Ball to uh, the Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh, Carter Camper, of course, uh, who's a, a uh, bona fide candidate for the uh, the Holby Baker Award. He's been an, an outstanding, prolific scorer at Miami. And uh, David Backus, as a matter of fact, our producer has a David Backus uh, jersey on that uh, he, I believe, picked up on a uh, road trip this year out to the uh, icebreaker uh, for the uh, for the St. Louis Blues. So uh, that's, I'm sure, a tradition that you've uh, become aware of. Oh, yeah. You know, Lincoln doesn't accept anything, but... You know anything but the best, and uh, I you know all those guys are. I've I've seen them play in the NHL, and it's it's you know it's cool to see how and like hear about where they came from and how you know our trainer tells told stories about them coming into the training room, telling stories about you know how they played and stuff like that. And it's it's exciting to you know walk around the rink and see all those pictures of those guys and how you know their success and. Hopefully, you know, one day I can do that. And I'm glad I, uh, I'm in the Lincoln Stars organization because, you know, they helped me a lot. Coming in last year was was huge. I've I've transformed into a different player, you know, because Coach McGroarty and, you know, just just everything about Lincoln, you know, I really like. And, you know, just thankful for the opportunity I got last year, and I'm excited. I'm excited to move forward. Talking to Ryan Zingle from the Lincoln Stars. Uh, Ryan, another, I mean, every weekend's a big weekend in the league, but this weekend you've got a couple of games at home. You've got uh, Indiana coming in on Friday and and uh, Fargo on Saturday. Indiana's got the leading scorer in the league in Coleman, and uh, and Fargo's got one of the top goalies in Massa. So each of those teams presents a little bit different uh, challenge for you guys, but uh, before the home crowd, uh, it should be another rocking weekend in Lincoln. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, we've, we've played Fargo before, and you know, they're always a good team. And and uh, we haven't seen Indiana yet, but yeah, obviously they have they have some good players. And uh, we just obviously got to take one day at a time, and just you know worry about practice tomorrow, get better. And uh, you know I'm excited. It's always fun to play at home, especially against especially against good teams like that. And uh, I'm just glad it's at home because you know it gives us a pretty pretty big advantage. Been a, been a nice turnaround here in your second year in Lincoln under uh, a new head coach, uh, Chad Johnson, just to uh, just uh, wrap up, just to, to talk a little bit about him and uh, what uh, he's meant uh, to the program and uh, having the experience uh, to play into his system. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, he came in this year, and he's brought a whole different feel. Uh, you know, our last year's season didn't turn out the way we wanted to. We lost probably around 12 one-goal games last year, and, <laughs> you know, McGrady, McGrady is a great assistant coach now, and they just they mesh they mesh really well. And uh, you know, McGrady, McGrady taught me a, a lot of things last year that has helped my game unbelievably. You know, he taught me that my skill only takes me so far, and I gotta you know I gotta work hard. I gotta play both ends of the ice, and and now Chad, you know, he's he's bringing different systems and uh, you know whole new attitude, and you know it's just it, those two have meshed well and. I think it's gonna it's gonna get us far, and he always preaches, you know, one day at a time. And you know, I think our team, you know, had a okay first half, but I think uh, after after you know all the stuff that he's brought to the table, I think we're gonna have a great end of the season and make a push in the playoffs. Yeah, we shall luck with that, Ryan. Thank you. Yeah, Ryan. Best of luck uh, this weekend. The rest of the way, uh, make those playoffs and. Um... Best of luck the rest of the year uh, in the USHL and uh, onward to Columbus. All right, thanks a lot. I appreciate the call. Thanks for being with us. It's uh, Ryan Zingle from the Lincoln Stars, our Player of the Week this week in the USHL.